Hey everyone, welcome to your 25th Basics of JavaScript video in which we're going to discuss stuff like break, continue, return, these things, right? So to begin with, I'm really going to really quickly going to write a for loop for our video. There we go. And I'm just going to console log i here. Pretty similar stuff. We see we get all the output from 0 to 9, right? <clears throat> and we have discussed why this is the case. So what I'm going to do next is inside this block only, I'm going to say if i is actually equal to 5, which it's going to be at its, you know, what iteration, at its sixth iteration, I'm going to say break. Hit save. Let's see what happens. Hmm. So we have the correct output till we get 5. But after that, what happened? Well, it encountered this break statement, and hence, whenever you see a break, whenever JavaScript sees a break, it gets you out of this loop, right? So if you want an early exit out of your loop, you're going to make use of break. Cool. What if we make use of continue here? It's save. Well, you can see we get to all the output correct. Nothing, nothing's wrong. But hey, wait. What happened here? Well. If I try to console log done here, hit save. Let's see what happens now. So we get 0, done, 1, done, 2, done, 3, done, 4, done, 5. Hey, 5 is not done. So what just happened? So what happens is basically whenever JavaScript is continue statements, it does not execute anything below it inside a loop and returns back to that step which I told you, increment it and check. Right, so JavaScript skips all the things below it and gets back to there. So if you place console log here instead of the first statement, what we're gonna see is we get zero, one, two, three, four, no five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because when I was five, we skipped this line. We skipped basically anything below it. Right. So that's the basic difference between break and continue. Obviously, you could write return here. But, uh, you know, it would be an illegal statement because you're not inside a function, right? And I'm pretty sure we have covered functions. Yeah, so we did cover function. So what I'm going to do is create a function here, function my loop, right? I'm going to copy paste this whole loop inside here. I'm going to call my loop. Hit save, right? So you see, we get pretty similar output to what we got with break. You can see it's similar. So what's the difference? So essentially what happens here is the output is same, but the difference is if you're using return, nothing even outside this loop would execute, right? So if I say loop ended, right? You see, it does not appear. But if I use make use of break, obviously we get out of the loop. With the return, we get out of everything get out of the function itself not even the loop right we just quit out of everything so that's basically um, just of what break return continue stuff like that does so that's all for this video i'll see you then in the next one